Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, in this tutorial video, uh, uh, this is, or, or actually this is the second video for the series of absolute beginners, where in this video you will learn how to use just basic commands to accomplish uh, the drawing. As you can see here in the, in the screen, we need to draw this part here and we would like to use like the basic command to accomplish that okay as you can see uh, if you look at this part the front this is a front uh, projection which will be this one and this is the top projection and this is the right side projection if you look carefully that if i know how to draw to sketch the top projection all what I need to do is just do just extrusion, extrusion, extrusion. I will be be able to finish the, the part, as you will see in this video. Okay, so I will do. I will concentrate on locking myself to the top plane, and from that I will uh, go ahead and finish the part. So let's, without further ado, let's go to solid edge and start the process. This is the opening uh, uh, screen for the part menu uh, in Solid Edge. As you can see, when the first thing you need to select one of the drawing tools. The first thing is you need to select one of the drawing tools. We agreed on that we're going to start by locking ourselves to the top plane. Top plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select rectangle by center. <clears throat> and then this reveal all the projection plane and I'm gonna move my mouse with the, before I put any dimension here in the menu I'm gonna move my mouse to the top plane once I highlight it the, uh, uh, move it on the line one of the line in the top plane I see I reveal the lock so I'm gonna click on the lock once I click on the lock, you see in the upper right corner, the lock and the F3. It means I locked already to the top plane. So now let's put the dimension. The rectangle by center, it will be 50 by 40. So I'm going to put 50. The width and the height is, okay, yeah, the other dimension is 40. okay let's move to the top plane so i am in the top plane and i'm gonna put the rectangle exactly in the center or in the coordinate axis double click okay so now i have the the, the rectangle in the right location just let's lock the dimension so this dimension should be the 40. so get the dimension smart dimension so i'm gonna double click on this dimension so it is 40 and double click on the other dimension and this should be 50 okay so so far <coughs> so good okay the next step i need to draw the 30 by 30 if you look carefully here i need to put this 30 by 30 uh, square by the edge here okay so how do you do that okay so the way to do it is you go to solid edge i'm going to select rectangle by center okay and i will make this rectangle the width is 30 and the height is 60 i'm going to put 60. and what i'm going to do is I'm going to click in the center of the line in, or the edge here. So the main reason I, I, I did that is so I can have half of it will be the 30 by 30. So now I use the trim 
and get rid of the other half trim and get rid of the other half okay and the other one okay so now if I, if I measure these dimension this should be the 30 and the other 30 okay so click on this one double click on this line this should be the 30 okay the other 30 okay the 30 by 30 okay. and the other one here this is the 30 by 30 Now I need to draw the this part here. So to do it is just I'm gonna say okay I have this is 90 from the center to the center 90 and this is 50 so I have 20 this way and the 20 the other way. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle uh, by two point is the 20 by 30 the total 30 20 by 30. So I'm gonna go to solid edge. and get a rectangle by two point and I'm gonna start from the corner here and go horizontal 20 I'm gonna go 20 and the vertical should be 30 And the angle is zero. Okay, so I got it right. The next step, I need to get the circle by center, and the bigger circle is thirty. Enter. No, this is the circle by center. Sorry, circle by center, and. The diameter is 30 and what I'm going to do is just I'm going to come to the exact to the center here of the, the line I'm going to click and I get what the 30 di diameter okay let's use the trim get rid of this one and get rid of the line okay get another circle by center the diameter is 16 and I'm gonna highlight this uh, half a circle to reveal the center and then go to the center of the circle when I see concentric I'm gonna click so this way I get the other diameter inside circle to make sure that everything is perfect then I need to con do it concentric to maintain the relation so I need the smaller circle to be concentric with the bigger circle the smaller circle should be concentric with the bigger circle okay so now they are concentric so now the skip <clears throat> i need to repeat the same thing here so what i how do you repeat it i select whatever i draw here to the right okay and i say mirror and make a mirror about the vertical axis so go to the vertical axis click so now I made a mirror of the other side, to the right side, okay? And then escape. So I have it, I, I did the mirror, okay. Now let's start the, the uh, get escape. Let's go to home and start the extrusion, okay? What do I have is, I have, if you look carefully, I have this ear here has extrusion 10 millimeter 
the other one 10 millimeter and the one the square the 30 by 30 square is 10 millimeters so i'm going to do all of them at the same time using the shift key so i'm going to go solid edge select this one put my finger on the shift key and do the square and highlight the other side now take your finger from the square from the shift key and click on the arrow to go up there is no symmetry it's just all i need i need to go up how much i'm gonna say 10. so i got all of them 10 but I, I missed, okay, I lost the, 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 the drawing for the, the, the square 30 by 30. So I need to bring that. Okay. As you can see, I don't see the, 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 the bands. So what I'm going to do, I just, I'm going to bring it back. Okay. It's called Pathfinder. Sorry. Pathfinder. Oh, here it is. Okay. I, it seems I lost it. Okay. Somehow. Okay. So I brought it, okay. So now under use the sketches, I'm going to expand use the sketches. So use the sketches. I see this sketch, right click on the sketch and say restore. So this way I restore back the 30 by 30 sketch. So this will highlight the inner area here. So what I need to do is just click at any point in the in the area the bluish area so click at any point see okay so now oops sorry i'm gonna cl uh, click on one of the arrow to go up i need it pause there and i'm gonna click on the arrow to go up there is no symmetry here so I'm going to go up, up, up. For how long? 80. I'm going to put 80. Enter. Okay, so now if you look carefully. I use the, the, uh, the mouse, the roller mouse, to come closer or to increase the uh, scale or move up. Or, uh, or moving away from you, reduce the size and bringing the roller to you towards you increase the size okay so now okay so i have this one with a height 80. so what's left now is to do the 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 shape the the the, ex, the inclined plane here okay so the way i will do this inclined plane just i'm going to draw a line from the middle of the edge here to the middle of the other edge here draw a line and then use this line uh, make it as a rib to cover the whole area okay so this way i can do it quickly okay so i'll go to solid edge and to do the rib i need to lock to the uh, plane so which plane I, I need to show that i'm going to expand the reference plane and the right plane i'm gonna make it feasible okay show to show so i now i saw here is the the, the right plane this one here so if you, if you rotate it like this it is exactly in the middle of the shape okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna click on the line and move my mouse to the plane here to this plane to highlight it and once it is highlighted, it's going to show the, the lock and F3. Click on the lock and F3. So this way I'm locked to this plane. So any line will be drawn. It's going to be on this plane. So now I need to draw a line from the center of this edge here. You see this edge? Okay, so center. I need the center from this edge. Here it is click so I get the beginning of the line and I'm gonna go to the other edge click so I got the other the end of the line okay I'm gonna get out 
okay so if you look carefully here so let me show it to you i'm gonna return it turn it around so you can see okay this is the right side plane and this is the line goes from the middle of this edge to the middle of this edge where i'm gonna draw the rib so go to thin wall under thin wall choose rib you see rib choose rib okay and then what is the menu for that yeah it should be chain okay so i'm gonna click on this line i'm gonna choose this line and say accept okay since i did it before so it still remember that this rib has a thickness 30 millimeter but if it's not 30 you make it 30 so you can cover the whole area and this way i can may i made the inclined plane okay so now i'm gonna say accept and this way i was able to accomplish the the, the drawing okay so now let me move to get it to the in the plane okay so here it is so as you can see i was able to get the drawing in a very efficient way okay uh, this will end the session or this video for uh, this uh, practice and i hope that you, you like it uh, first i would like to thank you for watching the video and i would love to hear your feedback and if you like the video please subscribe to the channel uh, click the bell and give it a thumb up have a wonderful day and see you soon on another video bye bye